and we're looking at a Lynx 2100 LSY. I'm going to show you how to touch off tools. We have a manual tool eye. We're looking at the main spindle and we have a sub spindle completely uh, capable of C-axis milling and turning. Then we have several tools on the turret. We're just going to cover a turn tool and a uh, couple of milling units one in the X and one in the Z orientation or axial and radial. A very nice machine it's set up for several different projects you can see mills drills in several different orientations. It has a beautiful control fairly typical of a Doosan very nice It is a brand new machine and we are looking at the offset page currently. This is the aware offset page of a Dusan Fanuc I series. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to close the door because we have to close the door in order to make a tool change. That's a safety feature on this particular machine. So we're going to select the tool manually I'm going to select tool number one and then click select and then the turret will select that tool. Then we open the door and we manually bring down the tool arm. Got to make sure that you uh, clear the turret. It just barely did. Then we're going to turn it into handle mode and uh, select the axis and then we're gonna since we're just close we're gonna select one thousandths per per click so we're gonna carefully get close to the tool eye so we're gonna back up a little bit and turn to the z axis make sure you know which way you're turning and we're gonna position the tool tip in the center of that square all right, so that's positioning in Z, and then we position in X. Then we want to select the offset page, and we want to see the geometry page. Okay, now when the tool arm is down, it automatically locks to the tool that's currently active in the turret. So now that we have positioned, we're going to turn it to jog, and we're going to just click on the X minus button and when we do the machine automatically goes into a routine where it finds the tool eye and as soon as it makes contact you'll see the, the light turn red and it automatically backs up so you don't have to hold the button okay so this is what happens on the geometry screen as soon as it hits the tool tip you see it updates the X value. So then we go back into hand control and we carefully want to move the tool tip to the side because we have to touch off the Z axis. Again within about an eighth of an inch if you can aim for the center. Once you're positioned you go into jog mode and you select Z minus. All you have to do is click on it and it automatically moves in that direction in a very slow motion until it finds it, it touches off, it records the value in the, ge in the geometry page as you'll see right here. Now even though it's not highlighted it's still the Z value that is going to update. There you go. All right. So then we want to go back into handle mode. And we want to carefully move the tool out of the way. Now I've noticed I uh, moved it in X, so I cannot accidentally move into the tool. So we put the tool away and we're gonna have to shut the door and index to the next tool. We're gonna do this end mill, so this will be a radial tool. 
and we're going to find the x and z value for that. So we're going to have to close the door. I'm going to select the tool number tool number 12 let it index and then open the door again auto door open bring your tool arm down And again, we're going to move it in X and Z, and we're going to get close to the tool eye. So we're going to touch off on X first. Try to center up, get within an eighth of an inch. Now it will touch off anywhere on that square, but just try and aim for the uh, for the center if you can. All right, so I've touched jog and x minus direction and so you see it's approaching it touched off and remember it automatically updates the x-axis as soon as it touches off all right so for the z remember we want to know what the center line of that tool is so we want to make sure we touch off on the shank portion because that's the most accurate instead of the flutes so without crashing your uh, holder, notice it touched off on the shank. And the next thing you're going to have to do, yeah, let me show you what I did while we were uh, watching it approach. and it changed the Z value. All right, now we have to make a, a change because that is touched off on the outside or the diameter of that shank. And so we're gonna have to measure the diameter. So that's a six millimeter, 235.5. So what we're gonna have to do is offset half that distance in the Z minus direction. So we key in, minus 0.1175, we click plus input, and it wants to make sure that you verify all your numbers before you hit execute, and then it will update. There it is. So that's the center line of the tool, so you have to manually key that in. All right, so the next tool we're going to do is another end mill. This will be a an actual tool that's set up and so we're going to touch off an X and Z also and it's going to be a little bit different on the X again we're going to have to find center line in X the Z is easy because it's just a tool tip okay again find center just eyeball center jog z minus direction to find the tooltip nice and easy let it approach and it should have updated the z value in the wear offset page all right we're going to back out and now again we're going to move over as far as we can so that we can get the diameter portion of the shank okay now you gotta be real careful not to hit anything so always make sure you got all the clearance all the way around and always look make sure you're not getting too close it's a very expensive unit so if you're in a in a safe position go ahead and hit jog x minus direction Notice the shank is just touching off on that corner, and that's fine. Perfect. Now, because this is a lathe, we're going to have to adjust, manually adjust the X value in the geometry page by the diameter of the tool. Okay. So, first of all, let's back out. 
put the tool eye away. We're going to measure, that's a 375 or so a 3 8 end mill. So in the X axis of the geometry page, we're going to add a minus 0 0.375. So we will end up with a 0 0.0842 value in that field. All right, folks, that was touching off tools on a multi-axis lathe. I kind of ran out of juice right there at the end, so I kind of talked you through it, but I believe that you got the gist of it. Just make sure that on an x-axis that you always subtract the diameter of the tool, okay? In the z, coming to the center, is always half the tool. On the x-axis, it's always the diameter of the tool, so make sure you remember that. All right, so thank you for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions, leave me a comment below. Thank you for watching. Have a good night.